Good morning, not a bad sunrise to be waking up to. Here's our view, Tower 3. All right, here we are day two, heading on in to the parks. We're just taking um, the walking route instead of going towards the water taxis. And we're gonna go into Universal Studios first. The wait times are a little bit shorter right now. It's 9.30 on a Saturday morning, Columbus Day weekend. Oh, very good. Hagrid's is a 150 minute wait right now. Um, and the park only just opened at 9. They had early park access uh, starting at 8 a.m. Um, so we're gonna go try Gringotts and the Mummy and things like that before it gets too busy. And then the plan is to try to eat at Minions Cafe for lunch. It's gonna depend on how busy it is. It'll either be today or tomorrow that we'll do that. Here's a look at the crowds for Islands of Adventure. Not too bad yet for 9.30 Saturday morning, just opened. A lot of these people will be locals. They're coming in from City Walk. It is 9.48. The lines looked a little bit long, but we've got through them in about four minutes. So they were moving pretty quickly. We are heading to Gringotts first because it is only a 30 minute standby wait right now. It might pop up a little bit by the time we get there, but for a Saturday morning, can't beat that weight, gotta go give it a try. We do have express passes, so it'll be shorter for us. But um, we tend to estimate if you have express pass, the wait's about half that time, maybe a little less than half. So just keep your expectations in check because they will alternate between the normal line and the express line. So it's not um, fully, you know, guarantee that you're gonna have a zero minute wait, but they do give you a little bit of preference. Why is there a rattle in this head? It's funny, right? It disappears. <laughs> Very cool. So we just got evac from the bus. It never got going. And now they're gonna bring a new bus and we'll try again on Fast and the Furious. This ride has broken down three times and we've only been on it four times. So, yay. <laughs> All right, just got uh, exited from Fast and the Furious after waiting for 15 minutes, both on and off the bus. So that's a real shame. Everything was going pretty smoothly until we got on, so I'm pretty sure we're the bad luck. Uh, we're gonna head to Minions Cafe. It's 11.30, so it's a little early for lunch. We did have a bit of a good-sized breakfast, but it's only gonna get busier. It's Saturday, and it's pretty crowded, so might as well do lunch a little early so that we don't hit the, the heavy crowd times of 12 to 1. So this is the line at 12.30 to get in. So definitely come before noon if you want to get a good seat. We are headed out of the park. It is one o'clock and um, it's getting pretty busy, getting pretty hot. It's not as hot as it would be in the summer though, so that's nice. Probably about 89, 88, something like that. But the sun is now completely out, which earlier we had some nice cloud cover. Uh, we got on. The Mummy, Gringotts, we got kicked off of Fast and the Furious, that would have been our third ride, and then we went to lunch. So that's as much as we were able to get done today before we went to lunch at 11.30. So that gives you an idea of time for a Saturday um, afternoon, even with Express Pass. Uh, and we're not the kind of people that are just going to make ourselves miserable in the heat of the, the day of the park. So we're just gonna go back to the hotel and relax, um, have a bit of a nap. Then we'll come back later and go to Islands of Adventure. The 
club is really up their snack game. They have flavored chips and different options. They've got Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar barbecue, Lay's pack mix, got some Cheetos. I am excited. I'm gonna sound like James here, but what is this? Have I ever heard this? <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> Okay, we are on our way. It is night two. We took a nice relaxing time in the room. Uh, no one actually napped, but we did have some snacks and just chill out in the AC. Uh, we're going to Cowfish Grill, or sorry, just Cowfish. And uh, Michael's gonna have a burger because they have the best burgers in the world, apparently. And I'm gonna have sushi, so we both get exactly what we want. Not sure where James will fall in that because he's not a big burger fan. He actually likes sushi. So maybe I'll get him, like maybe there's a kid's crab roll or something like that. We'll find out. But uh, let's go and enjoy the evening. It is 4.41. Our reservation is at 5.15 Saturday night. And after we're done, we're gonna go into Islands of Adventure a little bit because tonight is a Halloween Horror Nights night. So we know the other park will be filled and Iowa should probably be a little more tame. Going on into the cowfish. There is a line. I don't know if that's to check in or to get a table or maybe a bit of both, but we're gonna go check in a little early and they'll text us when our table's ready. This is what the crowd looks like on a Saturday night and on a Halloween Horror Nights night in October. Busy with people leaving, busy with people coming. Beautiful night though. No, it's like come out of these little holes right there. It's like come out of these little holes This place is a madhouse. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Oh, wow. Wow, James. Here is the extremely large menu. I'm going to have the tempura roll. And here are their fusion rolls. A bit of west, a bit of east. And then their burgers, which are excellent. What did you end up going with, Michael? The jalapeno, the jalapeno popper, popper showstopper. showstopper. Which I've had before. And he loved it. And yeah. he hasn't had it in a while. I think the last time I was here I had the Royale. I'm oh, is you. that the one? Yeah. With the pork belly on it. And the bento boxes always look so good, but then I'm not a big fan of like uh, the raw sushi, so. Yeah. All right, we got the crab brain goo, dude. It looks so delicious. The sweet chili sauce on it. Look at how gooey that is. Daddy, do you do you like this? Oh my goodness. I like the fact that it has some sweet chili sauce on top. That's good. Mmm, cheesy. Yeah, rice is good. Mm. That's really good. Oh. oh, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. He's got the chopstick trainers on. <laughs> there you go. A little crab dip action. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Mm -hmm. Here is the kids' bento box with fries. There you go. Good job, buddy. And it came with a Rice Krispie treat as a surprise. I did not know that. That's very fun. And it has a and it has a salmon on it. It has a little salmon gummy on it too. That is cute. Look at that. <laughs> Here is my uh, shrimp tempura roll, and then Michael's burger. What's it look on the inside? Uh, that's a jalapeno popper. Ooh, that's a nice medium. It's hot, juicy, and perfectly medium. Oh, delicious. And the bread's not stale this time. So. Oh, I love that. James has demolished his macaroni, which was nice and creamy. Oh, yeah. That's a perfect medium. Yeah. They did good. This dip was fantastic. Everything has been really good and the service has been excellent. This has been my view. James and I have enjoyed looking over at the chocolate factory. 
just finished our meal at Cowfish. It was absolutely fantastic. We all three enjoyed all of our meals. We all picked up each other's plates. James, look at that. He never finishes his meal. He loved it. The fries were fantastic. They have this really delicious seasoning on them. You can see some of the flakes there. Um, it's awesome with the cowfish sauce, which we wiped clean as well. Um, it's also good dip in the crab rangoon. So <laughs> everything's good in the crab rangoon. So highly recommend. We all had a perfect meal and the service was fantastic. They were very fast with, even though they were packed, okay, they're really packed tonight. It's Saturday, Halloween Horror Nights, five o'clock. Everyone's trying to get a quick meal and go into the park. Um, but we never felt like we were waiting for anyone. So um, really excellent service, uh, really great food, and we've had a fantastic experience. Saturday night, lots of people leaving. I'll take it. Lots of people coming in the city walk though too. It's pretty busy. are the wait times at 6.50 on a Saturday night. Hagrid's is 100. The Forbidden Journey is 80. Hippogriff is 45. Velocicoaster is 105. Jurassic Park is 45, which isn't too bad. But King Kong is 55. Let's see what the Hulk is doing. 75. So, kind of high wait times right now and even the kids ride over here trying it on flyers is 60 and there's no express pass for that one so it's a bit high but we'll wander around for a little bit and enjoy excited buddy <laughs> we're on the carousel for the first time all right, fellow peace riders, make sure you have your seatbelt fully buckled in and then wrap Are you going up and down? No, you're going up and down. No, 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 no. no. It does! <laughs>
8 to 9 o'clock, they've got chocolate cannolis, cheesecake, and sugar cookies.